Welcome to this full BuyBot Pro tutorial and demo. So I've got BuyBot Pro open right here and I'm going to take you through step by step every single feature on BuyBot Pro. This is a very, very latest updated video. Make sure to get the 14 day free trial in the links below. Test it out for yourself. Let's dive into it guys. So. I've got a product page open here on Amazon and the first thing you'll notice here is the price I have input on here which is 50p and the sale price there. So whenever you go on to any sort of product it's going to auto populate the sell price there. You've got to then just type in your buy price there and you can also click the toggle here retail or wholesale and it will attach the applicable VAT sources there. Next thing you'll notice is the island here. Once you've done that, once you've hit analyze, you're going to come up with the same thing that you can see here on the island, which is the profit, ROI, BSR. You'll also notice the estimated sales here for this month and last month and the month after, which is pretty cool, guys. So you can see the 90 day average this is based on for the next few days, the next few months predicament and the last few months and this month. You'll also see down here if you are eligible to sell this product. You'll also see if it's hazmat, and you'll also see if the IP radar has got any known issues, or if it has amber issues, which means there's been reported but no officially filed IPs, and then you've got any that have officially been filed, okay, which is definitely to avoid any that show in red. Down here, you'll then notice the Rybot Pro confidence score, guys. So you can see the percentage here. So this is an AI tool that is actually inside Bybot Pro. And it tells you the average profit, the eligibility, and the Amazon selling uh, privilege, and uh, the Amazon selling um, example, if you can sell it or not. This AI tool will give you a good idea as to whether it thinks you should buy. So it's sort of like your little assistant by your side, if you like. Scrolling down on the page further, you see the storage feeds bar here. So what we can do, this is a recent integration to the software, is scroll on, as you can see the number going up there, two, three, four, five. This is in month order. And then you'll notice the profit change. There we go, depending on how long that product you think is going to be in the FBA fulfillment centers. Because obviously there's storage fees on this stuff, guys, especially more around November or December time. And that's what that is there. So if you know it's a slow seller, if there's loads of sellers on it, it sells slow, and you know it's going to be there for six months, then perhaps this is not so much of a good deal because it's literally not around about a pound off that profit price there, guys. So that's, yeah, good. Just something to take into account there. If it's a slow seller, you can use that toggle to see if it's even going to be profitable in a few months, guys. Let's look back over here. And the first thing you'll notice up here as well is also the settings bar here, guys. So I've got this attributed to my UK store and actually a non-VAT registered seller. I mean, I am VAT registered, but for the sake of the video, I thought I'd put it to non-VAT registered. You can type in whatever settings you want here. So you can click UK, depending on what account, uh, what country you're in, any of these countries, by what pro works. Tax and VAT settings, you can do USA and Canadian, non-VAT registered, standard accounting, flat scheme, depending on what your tax is. And if you're not sure, then be sure to chat to your accountant about that. Next thing you'll notice here, guys, is the ROI method. Now, this is very, uh, this depends on circumstances, okay? So method one is generally the default. Method four is what most people use when they're VAT registered. So, you know, I use method four. But if you're one and you're non-VAT registered, method one's probably the best. If you want to understand the in detail what method you should be, then definitely reach out to BuyBot Pro and they'll give you a lot more information on that, guys. Scrolling down, you'll see the prep fee there here as well. So that's the prep fee. So when I've populated this, as you can see, it's automatically deducted that 60p prep fee off of this, okay? Now, obviously, you don't have to put that in there. You know, if you've got your own warehouse and you want to just put like a bulk warehouse order, including fees and everything, you could do that. OK, at the end of the month of your uh, with all of your profit calculations. However, I think it's a good idea to put the prep fee in here so that when you're working out deals, you can get a good idea of how much profit you're left after the prep fees. You can also put the shipping cost here. So it depends how much it's going to cost you to ship boxes. So per kilogram in your box, if you know how much the box cost is along with the UPS cost, you can put that average in there. OK, so I mean, some of our stuff, you know, it's probably going to be about, let's say, one pound fifty per kilogram to ship. OK, that's including the box and the UPS fees if it's heavy stuff. And then you can click down, hit save on the settings. 
and that will reflect once again on the Bybot Pro Island here, guys. So all of this stuff here, you can see whether it's retail or wholesale, grocery, is it 0% or 20%, you can toggle all this. And all of this data down here, guys, the extra fees here, MF shipping cost, all of this is going to reflect on the da dashboard here to show you how much profit you've actually made, okay, on any product that you're analyzing, guys. So you just hit save and sync once you've done all them settings. I'm not going to do it now because there's no need to. Um, and then reload the page, click analyze, and it's going to show you an updated version of this profit. Okay, so let's put that storage feedback there, and you don't even have to click analyze. It's just going to automatically populate that back to the original profit, guys. You can also do the VAT override here. So let's say this is a 0% item. Then it, as you can see, it's automatically populated the profit there as well, guys, once again, quite easily. So that's pretty cool. And the MF settings that I showed you, the cost per MF, if you toggle that on or off, or you can add it there if you don't want to automatically have it in the background in the settings, um, then it will show you once again the profits change because you haven't entered anything MF price. But let's say it costs three pounds to ship this. Click analyze, it's going to deduct that as well, guys. So if you're doing MF, then you can just manually enter it just before you analyze, or you can do it in the settings behind the scenes to automatically get it to do it. You can also click that if it's pan-European or if it's a bundle. And if it's a bundle, once again, it's going to auto-populate the, the, the um, profit here depending on the settings bundle fee that you put. So it's just really easy. Rather than having to work it out yourself, click bundle. Whatever bundle fee it is from the prep center, if they charge you a pound instead of 60p, for example, to do a bundle, which is quite common, you can click that, hit analyze, and it's automatically going to populate this with the profit from that bundle as well, guys. So, yeah, pretty cool um, stuff there. It just streamlines the process, you know. So, yeah, I'll definitely recommend trying out the 14 day free trial, guys. Absolutely nothing to lose there. Let's scroll down a little bit here, guys. As you can see, once again, it's just sort of going over the same data a little bit here that's on the island there. So you've got Meltable, the IP radar, then it's got some added stuff here. Is it oversize? Okay. Is it oversize? Buy box analysis. So once again, that's the AI tool here. Goes over that again. And then the variations, guys. It's actually got the variations down here. Um, so that tells you, is this a variation listing? Look, so variations are different product options that suit under one listing. Okay. Bear in mind, this is an alert. Having variations are not a negative thing, but it's something you need to be alerted or in order to make sure you are selling the correct product on the correct variation type. So that's letting you know that it's a variation listing. So if we check out the variation listing down here, it gives us more details of a variation listing, guys. Now, what is a variation listing? Um, just self-explanatory, it means that this product comes in many different sizes, okay? So this comes in black, blue, and white. So a lot of this data is actually showing is actually showing you from all these different variations. So you've got two, it's showing us how many sellers, the price for each variation, uh, and then um, the ASIN details here. So depending on what one you click into, it's gonna show you different data, okay? It's gonna show you different data, um, but some of that data might overlap. So it's just good to know that it is a variation listing. If you need to click into a different color to see what sort of sales they're getting, then you click into that and then that down here will be represented in this graph depending on what color you pick on that variation guys i hope that makes sense let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about that sort of stuff scrolling down here you can see the asin there you can see the upc and you can simply hit copy there and it copies it straight away which is really really cool um, if you need to just quickly get some details copied um, it shows you the brand there profit margin max sold price max buy price break even total costs which i really like i've always liked this feature hover over that and it tells you the exact fees that you're paying to amazon it shows you the prep fees just to give you a breakdown you know if you click on it and you think oh hold on a minute that's quite a lot of you know that's quite a lot of um, um uh that's quite a lot of sale sort of you know cost of goods that's come off that why why is there not much profit in that then you can get a good breakdown here um, and what I also like about that feature there is just the fact that you can type in the quantity here. So let's say we've got an, uh, the potential to buy 100 of these, and we're pretty certain it's going to do well. C click 100, click analyze, and you're probably thinking, why hasn't it worked out the profit for 100 of them and put it here? Well, it doesn't put it there, guys. It puts it down here, you see? So you can see the profit times 1 and the profit times 100, 
So I really like this feature as well. It gives you a good idea of how much profit you're going to make when you sell a hundred of them rather than just one. Because let's be honest, who wants to sell one, guys? We're not in the business of selling one, are we, generally? <laughs> Unless you're selling really unique, high-priced items. <coughs> Generally, you're going to be selling a lot of them, so you can put 100 in there or whatever, however many you want to buy. Let's say 12, for example. Click Analyze, and it's going to change that to 12. Show you £54.72 profit sitting there, so not too shabby, guys. Also, if you've got a discount code that you're going to use, say from Honey or something like that, when it pops up, and you want to quickly go back and check how much profit you're now making, you can hit that discount there so let's hit the discount there and that will automatically increase or decrease if it's minus uh, your profit there now obviously in most cases it's going to increase that guys so let's hit 15% as you can see it's changed it there and changed the ROI accordingly rather than you having to figure out you know how much is 5% off £10 for example so that sort of thing obviously we all know it's um, £9 no I'm kidding we all know it's £5 um, so that's fine but if, you, if you've got some more complicated ones so if you're buying something for like £457.18 you want to know what 15% of that is just literally hit 15% it's going to do it all automatically so you can check how much profit you're going to be making <clears throat> once again it's got the uh, uh, AI tool thing here uh, FBM, FBA down here for the different analysis down here. You can also see in the different countries, guys, how much profit you can make in different countries if you're into pan-European or selling in different countries. So that's pretty cool. You can actually put your sheet in there. You can paste your sheet in there, okay? <clears throat> your Google Sheet. And then you can uh, export the data whenever you like straight away to your sheet guys you can just hit that and then that will take all this data from a deal say if your VA is about to buy the deal or you're about to buy the deal and you hate filling in like the ASIN the title the date and everything like that you can hit that and it will automatically populate your Microsoft your um, Google Sheets document with all of this data guys so it's instead of you know so that's your purchase tracker essentially so you don't have to keep doing that data so it's really cool saves a lot of time and effort guys once again, we've got the estimated sales calculator here with the previous months, the current month, and the future months. You can also see down here, guys, which is another one of my favorite features about this. It's just a real quick shot here, guys, of the prime or all offers here. And that shows you if it, how many prime sellers or MF sellers are showing here. As you can see, it's Amazon there and then Amazon EU. So there's only two sellers on this listing. Um, but if there was 10 sellers, it would show 10 sellers here uh, or more. Okay, And then you can filter that by prime or not. Which is really cool and it shows you the total sellers here and the total of MF sellers. Just gives you that really bird's eye overview of analyzing this product, guys. You've then got multi-market analyzer. Once again, what's the BSR like in the UK or Germany or New Zealand or something or France, sorry, or something like that. And it might be a good opportunity for you to send this to one of them countries as well. You never know, you know. Um, so that's cool to do there. Now, you've got the manual sourcing accelerator here, guys, as well, which is pretty cool, which is this tool here. So when you're store sourcing, for example, you can click in the different countries as well, and it will show you this product right here, um, all, the all the products in the store. Okay, it gives you a quick bird's eye view there, which is pretty cool. And it shows you the store name, the seller ID, rating, ASIN, brand name, uh, nutrition, how many, how many products they've got and everything like that, what sort of categories they're in, health and personal care and grocery. And then also you can do it on stores. So there's a little video here just explaining how you use the manual sourcing accelerator on stores. So I'm going to click play and let you see that quickly. Straight away, that Bible Pro does all of its amazing analysis. There's thousands and thousands of data points, and you'll see straight here you can analyze from the retail website, which 
there we go guys i hope you understood that very clearly so yeah it's the manual sourcing accelerator is also included in the chrome extension so rather than you having to get a deal you know type it in amazon like i used to when i started years ago none of this stuff existed then you know look, research everyone which was really time consuming populate my um google sheets spreadsheet and everything manually none of that exists anymore you can just do it all really with ease with buybot pros that's really cool Guys, you've got the VA toolbox here, so you can actually put the email in and you can actually monitor. It will take a screenshot every now and then of the v of your VAs working, so it monitors your VA, so that's a really cool thing there. Um, and then if we scroll down on here, you can search on eBay, sold on eBay or Google, and it will just automatically search on them platforms as well. You've got BuyBot Pro Wholesale, which I'll do in a separate video, guys, but there's a really cool feature for BuyBot Pro Wholesale as well. So if you're a wholesale seller, BuyBot Pro is definitely a great one for you. It shows you the source of what Amazon is there, which is really cool. It's got a mini graph down here, but mainly if we look at the bottom of the page, you'll see all these sort of graphs down here. And this is the main graph, guys. So let me just move my head over there. So this is one of the main graphs we're going to look at as well, guys. So we can look at all days here. And you can look at graphs, okay? So similar to a keeper graph, this is very similar, okay? So we can toggle the prices here on off, toggle Amazon off or on, okay? So it shows us is Amazon the listing, and then it shows us the BSR at all times, the lowest price, shows us how many FBA sellers are on there, which there's none because it's just been Amazon. We can look back from all time, all the last 365 days, the last 90 days, and you can get a really good analysis <coughs> here, guys, of the sales like how many sales they're getting, is it consistent sales, are they big drops, are they small drops, the graph there, the lowest price, the buy box price, and then you can also click back from all time as well, and as I say, toggle on and off there. We can also look at the off accounts down here, and we can also go for 365 days or all time, just to see how many sellers are jumping on and off of this, so we can do our analysis, guys. We've also got the main and subcategory BSR as well. And we've also got all these graphs down here with the FBA price average, average price for Amazon, new price average, buy box price average, BSR average, and new off account average. So straight away, you get all these quick screenshots. So you can have your step by step process just to know, you know, how well you want to analyze this deal, how quickly you can analyze this deal, just to know if you actually want to go into bother buying or selling this product guys so guys and girls make sure you check out the 14 day free trial below it's a very reasonably priced tool after you've done that trial anyway and i will see you in the next video make sure you subscribe see you soon